Um, so yeah, I have the honor to introduce Ricky Ott. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about her. Uh, she received a master's and doctorate in marine toxicology uh, before becoming a fisher, uh, commercial fisherman in Prince William Scott uh, or Prince William Sound, Alaska, in 1985. Um, and after witnessing the first firsthand the Exxon Valdez oil spill, uh, she helped f um, found three nonprofits. Um, to deal with the lingering social, economic, and environmental harms from the spill. Um, she has also written two books about the Exxon Valdez oil spill. Um, she's also uh, appeared in several documentaries discussing the Exxon Valdez oil spill. Um, and we're, we're really honored to have her here. Um, she's gone through a lot of trouble to get here. Uh, she had a car pull up here from San Francisco. Um, and then she was catching a bus from Grant's Pass, but even though she had a ticket, they didn't let her on the bus, uh, so she had to get a taxi. I uh, got here early this morning, just a few hours ago. Um, so how about we give her a really big power trip? <laughs> Sound. 
without herring. It's whales, it's marine, uh, sea lions, harbor seals, seabirds. What are they going to eat? Okay, so uh, the official count is 20, 15, two thirds of the species have not recovered. All right, Exxon's gone, right? This is what we're stuck with. And it's not just us. It turns out the promises to clean up beaches have been made since 1967. The first time the Torrey Canyon's built, people were out with pitchforks and shovels. As recently as the Have I Spirit in December in South Korea, shovels, buckets, kitchen utensils, same thing. They cannot clean up. It doesn't matter if it's the north shore of Alaska and there's sea ice and it's dark. They can't clean up in the daylight. They can't clean up. Okay, and there's a number of reasons for this, uh, including rubber stamping of uh, chemical dispersants, which don't work either, so the industry just hasn't designed to clean up. Not only did they wreck our environment, they wrecked the health of the cleanup workers. They got away with this. By the way, what I'm telling you, I've been, my phone's been tapped twice. I've had to sue invasion of privacy for a phone tap, and I've been thrown in jail once to bring you this story, okay? Thousands of cleanup workers. <laughs> If your nets don't fill up, we will 